think what you've said there is a really good question. Why are we doing the same sort of things or just tweaking things here and there when it comes to education and, and expecting you know, dramatic results? The fact is that industry now is, is dramatically evolving and, it, and it's, it's rapidly um, turning into something that education is not really properly preparing children for. What it needs to do is instead of getting in touch with consultants and you know doing some slight changes here, reforming here, reforming there, what I think it needs to do is something to come in and start to revolutionise. Forget reform, let's start revolutionising education. Think about it from an end user perspective. Albert Einstein that said, you know, um, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing, repeating it over and over again, and then expecting different results. Quite recently, I heard a story about a, a, a rector at a university in Detroit. Now, Detroit, this particular university, has had three colleges. They, they had a college of business, uh, a college of, uh, of IT, and, and a college of engineering. And together, they were, they were reasonably successful for a period of time. And then something happened that they start to notice. So the rector brought to his attention these key performance indicators from each of the colleges. And one of the key performance indicators was the fact that performance measures were based on how many, how many students were finishing, graduating from their colleges and then going into gainful employment. The problem was this the figures were dramatically decreasing over a period of time and he wanted to try and find out why. So the first thing the rector did was he went and he got employed them some, some of the alumni, some of the previous students and after they had graduated asked them some valuable questions and it's with the uh, consultants that they supported them to say well these are the results through the results, they made a few tweaks here and there, but again, the rapid decline of graduates finding gainful employment still wasn't up to speed. So this time, second time around, they brought in some educational experts, some consultants, to try and how can we properly prepare our graduates for life after the college and university. And again, they did some work, they tweaked things around slightly here and there, and still the decline kept going. Where things changed is when the rector finally stopped looking at his customers as the students and started focusing on the end user. This time he brought in the CEOs, he brought in the HR executives and says, what are you actually looking for? Because currently you're not hiring the graduates from our university. So there was a, a round of brainstorming and right near the end, one of the CEOs piped up and he said this, you have three colleges. Sometimes you bring us a graduate from business and he may have a pretty good knowledge of IT, but his engineering skills are pretty much non-existent. And then you might bring me an IT graduate and the IT graduate would have a small understanding of business perhaps, but again his engineering skills aren't very good. Which is great because you've actually got an engineering college, but then you bring the engineer to us and his business knowledge is extremely weak and his understanding of IT is just not up to par. We are dramatically failing because industry now has grown to the 4.0 model. We need engineers who have a good sound knowledge of business and a really high competency when it comes to IT. What we effectively need is for you to bring them all three together and merging things like skills, knowledge, with an evidence-based portfolio that demonstrates their competence in each of the core elements that we require. The CEO went on and he said, it's okay that you're providing us with these academic you know, gifted individuals. But what we're effectively looking for now is it's more than that now. What's really important to us now is, is, is the, the practice, the competencies. 
can you provide us with the academic knowledge in tandem with the competency to do the jobs. We need a blend of skills and knowledge. So when they leave the college and university, you are effectively preparing them for the roles in the industrial workplace.